Hey, Jim Parr here, and we're going to go through workflows, what you need, how you set them up, the whole deal. We're not going to leave anything out. But before we get going, uh, if you don't have high level, hit below that. Uh, we have a link for a 14-day free trial. We give a ton of bonuses. We give support with that if you sign up under us. And uh, also hit that subscribe button because uh, we give away things every month and uh, that's who we give it to is our subscribers. So remember, hit that subscribe and hit the bell notification. Let's dive into workflows right now. First things first, I've got one of my nifty bow ties on today. I've got about 150 of them. So if you want to send me a gift, send me a bow tie. Um, so I'll uh, obviously let you know. But we're in the dashboard. What do you need to build a workflow? You need a calendar. You need a pipeline. And if you want to make things easy, you need an email template. So let's go in. We have Mortgage123 here in uh, Brentwood, Tennessee. And let's talk about the pipeline that you would set up. So a lot of these, uh, we have a snapshot. And, uh, and so you can, uh, you'll have a pipeline, you might have a calendar. Um, and uh, you're not going to have an email template. But let's talk about the pipeline that you need. So in this particular one, uh, in some of the snapshots that you get, from high level, it might uh, be like new promotion pipeline is what it's named. But if we look at this, we can edit this any way we want. We can move a hot lead up to above a new lead, but you wanna build a type uh, a pipeline with as many things in it as possible to really understand your audience and where they're coming in. So we have new, new leads, we have hot leads, we have booking requests booking confirmed, we have a no-show, we have interested, and we, we use the word one when we get that person as a client. So this is our pipeline. Uh, the other thing that you're going to need is a calendar in here. So we have the free mortgage loan consultant for mortgage one, two, three. And uh, so you want to make sure your calendar is set up. And, uh, and I've got other videos on that, so check my channel out um, if you're not sure about calendars. But uh, we have a calendar in here. And then the other thing is uh, we might need a uh, template. So uh, one of the things that we like to do is uh, under marketing, we like to set up and go to email templates. We like to set up a, a template for email and even a template for text. So this would be, uh, you know, the confirmation email. And understand this first line up here, um, if I can smell today, um, this is just what you see. The subject, it'd be like, um, it would be something like uh, appointment. Um, the, the way to do it here is appointment and then confirmation for and the way you get these tags up here is just go to custom values here and uh you might just grab full name and pay just let it drop in there and then copy and paste it up into here so it's, if it's john smith it's going to say appointment confirmation for john smith and we could even put with you know mortgage uh, one, two, three, obviously not a real company. And then the other thing that you want to do is put in your body for that email. So I just copied and pasted something in here. Um, understand that uh, these are great for Outlook and, and cancel and reschedule. But basically it says, hey, John, uh, and it just grabs the first name because we're just grabbing the first name here under custom values. Remember custom values, the contact is who you're going after. The user is you. So we have uh, confirmed your appointment for start time to speak with username would be myself, Jim Parr. If this doesn't work, let me know. And then you put in your own Zoom link here. 
and under your calendar setup, you can add that in or just put it in here. And then just uh, you can add a signature, however you want to do it, add an image. And uh, we're just going to save this template. So now we can go and use this whenever we want. And uh, so we're going to actually go into workflows now and run through what a workflow is, how to set it up. So um, on the left here, we go to workflows because now we have our pipeline, we have our calendar, and we have our, uh, our test or our email template. And you could type in the email template here. Uh, we've got one that we did here. And uh, basically, uh, we're going to start from scratch. And you could use this recipe down here, appointment confirmation uh, reminder. So uh, you're going to have to modify it. You click on it, and then you create new workflow. I'm not sure why it just doesn't click right away. And the key here is to make sure your workflow trigger is set up. First of all, I'm just going to call this test two. And uh, so you just click on that and uh, modify it. So we want appointment. Um, you could name this whatever you want. Um, you know, you could say mortgage one, two, three, but obviously you know that. And then your appointment, uh, it, this is almost all the time CRM. And then you choose a workflow trigger, which uh, obviously is appointment right now. And then uh, we want to change this to in calendar. So we're going to hit this drop down in calendar. And we're going to select our calendar for free mortgage temp, uh, loan consultant. You might have multiple calendars, so that's why you select that and why that's important to do. Then the other filter that we're going to add in is appointment status. We saw that in the beginning and is confirmed. So this is basically attached to our pipeline. So we're going to save this trigger. And then what we're going to do is I want to add a opportunity in here. The idea behind this is so that it adds it into that phase of confirmed appointments. So we're going to click add opportunity and then we're going to go to new lead. Uh, so it creates the opportunity and then in the pipeline, we're going to select our new lead pipeline and we want it to go into uh, booking confirmed. So obviously they're going in, they're confirming an appointment. I leave this blank. You can put whatever here, website, um, if it came through your website. And if you want a lead value, a dollar amount, you can select that. And I always select this as open and I allow opportunity to move to the uh, stage in the pipeline. So we're going to save that. And uh, the next step is the confirmation email. So the confirmation email is, uh, we just, this is our initial confirmation. So we'll just put from mortgage one, two, three. And uh, I'm just gonna drop in a test email here and we're gonna say a comp appointment confirmation for, and then we're gonna add this tag uh, and we're just going to put in the full name. So remember, we set up a, a template for this. So that's where this becomes really key. There is an appointment confirmation in here that you can rewrite, but I can just go here and select confirmation email. And now all my stuff is in there and I'm ready to go. I always do a test before I do anything. And so you can send that to yourself and you wanna make sure you hit save action. Now we're gonna put in a 24 hour wait. So this is a wait time. You see this up here and, uh, and we're gonna do it appointment on event time 24 hours before. 
So it knows what time the appointment is, and it's going to send out a confirmation email 24 hours. And that email may look similar to this, and we can do mortgage123, and we can just put uh, from meeting in 24 hours with mortgage123. And you can see, you can edit this just by clicking anywhere in there. And then I always like to do one hour before, uh, a, just a reminder, so there's no uh, chance of a no-show, although you could get that. And sometimes I will do an email and a text. So I might do send text, and then uh, in that text, I might just put, hey, John, you know, with the custom value, your appointment is starting in one hour. So that's all you have to do. You want to make sure you hit save. We just added that text in there. And here is the key point to this. Make sure you hit publish up here in the top and save and make sure you confirm that the workflow is saved. Some people bounce out and forget. But the cool thing about this is all your settings are here. These just stay the same. Um, you could do sender email and put your stuff in there if you wanted to. But anything that happens in this appointment status will be logged in this history. And the status, say they are got their initial confirmation, will be here. And then you could even execute their next step manually just by selecting them and hitting this. Um, so that is it for the workflows. Let me just show you real quick what one of those emails look like. I just got to test one myself. So this is just a, a test email. Hey, your appointment start is in 24 hours. Uh, obviously a misspelling there. Um, and then uh, you've got an unsubscribe button that uh, comes in just because it goes through Mailgun. So that is it. If you have any questions, I'd like to see your comments below. Uh, and just remember, hit that subscribe. We're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers and we're two away. So uh, let me show you one thing real quick. If you had one set up here like this in particular, you can look at this and go into the settings and just click on that three and it gives us everything that's going on. So it finished, it sent the text. Uh, we can see the, the history and everything in there and that's what's so cool about it. So we see what's actually going on and if we went into the, the actual email, we can actually see uh, in regards to uh, what those appointments were and, uh, and how many people are actually uh, scheduling or sent out or whatever. So anyways, if you have any comments, let me know. I'd love to help you out. Uh, any, if I don't like people being stuck because that's where frustration sets in. And uh, so remember, subscribe. If you don't have high level, uh, get it. Use my link below and uh, look forward to uh, helping you out. Thanks.